Now we're going to talk about transmission and pathogenesis of parasitic infections. I'm Dr. Manal Salah al Professor of Medical Parasitology. The modes of transmission of parasitic infections, they are 10. That's to say how a parasite invades the human body. First, there is oral transmission through ingestion of the uh, contaminated food containing the infective stage of the parasite. This uh, contaminated food, and I mean by the word contaminated, I mean uh, that it contains the infective stage. Uh, it could be a raw or undercooked meat, uh, a raw or improperly uh, cooked fish or improperly salted fish. It could be also uh, raw or uh, uh, unwashed uh, green vegetables and fruits, besides drinking uh, contaminated or polluted water containing the infective stage. Second is through skin penetration, and this is either an active penetration of the skin by the infective stage itself, where the infective stage is present in water or in soil, and by itself it uh, actively penetrates the skin of man, uh, when it comes in contact with uh, uh, the skin of man, or through direct skin contact, where the parasite lives uh, in tunnels in the epidermis, it's the upper uh, layer uh, uh, of uh, the skin, and living in this uh, uh, area uh, through direct skin contact with another person for a long time and repeated times, then the uh, infective stage is transmitted to the new person. The third is through transplacental or congenital transmission, what is known as vertical transmission. And this is uh, transplacently from the mother to her fetus uh, uh, inside the uterus during pregnancy, where the parasite is present either inside monocytes or inside RBCs in blood, and they are transmitted transplacently to the fetus. Then we have the fourth is there is the soil transmitted, and this is through three ways. Either eating contaminated soil, especially children playing in soil, and then putting the, which contains the infective stage, and then putting their hands in their mouth, for example, uh, during playing. Then we have eating uh, uh, soil contaminated raw vegetables with, uh, as carrots, for example, without washing them, or walking barefoot on contaminated soil where the infective stage by itself it actively penetrates uh, uh, in the soil and it actively penetrates the skin of man. The point was mentioned uh, uh, in the second uh, point. Then we have number five through auto infection. And what do we mean by auto infection? That's to say reinfection -infect, re or self infection by a parasite that's already present on or in uh, within the body. This is either an external auto infection or an internal auto infection. External auto infection, let's say uh, 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 self infection by the infective stage produced by a parasite present inside the body. And this occurs when uh, uh, the patient comes in contact with the parasite infective uh, stage. For example, uh, the eggs present at the perianal area, then it is transmitted by finger uh, uh, nails to the mouth. And it's named fecal oral root or anal oral root. Then there is also the second point is the internal auto infection, where reinfection by a par parasite present inside the body. Uh, and uh, during its presence inside the body, it produces uh, the infective uh, stage inside the body. Uh, and then it starts a new infective cycle with production of new uh, uh, larvae and new adults inside the body without going outside the, the body of the patient. The sixth point is the vector transmission, which is an arthropod, and of course you know it, the biological vector and the mechanical vector. You've studied that in the uh, previous lecture. Then number seven, there's sexual, uh, sexual transmission through sexual contact, and the parasite here lives in the vagina and urethra in female or in urethra in male. Then we have number eight through blood transfusion, where the parasite lives inside RBCs or inside uh, reticular cells as monocytes in blood. And so it's transmitted uh, during blood transfusion to another host where it becomes infected. Then uh, similarly, there is an organ transplantation where the parasite are present inside cysts. They are intercellular, present inside cysts in tissue organs. And by transmitting this organ, to, to uh, the recipient will become infected. Lastly is by inhalation. There is only one example for this condition where the, uh, uh, we inhale the infective stage of the parasite and then we swallow it. And in this condition, the infective stage is very light, so it can be easily carried by air. From uh, uh, what we've, uh, we've uh, studied, we can deduce the sources of infection. It can be contaminated soil. And remember, the word contaminated means that it contains the infective stage. There's either contaminated soil or contaminated water, contaminated food, whatever it's, uh, 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 fruits, vegetables, meat, uh, or fish. And there is the, bio, the vector, whether biological or mechanical vector, and also animals, domestic animals as cow and pigs, through uh, their fur or the, uh, either through their uh, meat, and also there is dog and cat through their uh, fur uh, or contamination with their stool and uh, playing with them. There's also wild animals, such as uh, game animals, bears and rodents, and also there are thieves and cyclops and transmit uh, in, uh, parasite infective stage to man. It uh, can be other person, such as carrier, uh, uh, he carries the parasite and passes the infective stage in his excreta. However, he is asymptomatic. 
okay? He's a source of infection to others. However, he is asymptomatic. And then from a patient to himself, uh, 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 through two mechanisms, either an anthroponotic infection, and anthroponotic is opposite to zoonotic. Anthroponotic, it means that is man-to-man -man transmission. Uh, let's say infecting, uh, get, uh, acquiring the infection from another uh, human being. And then there is a vertical transmission of congenital infections from mother to her fetus in uterus. And lastly, the self-infection or auto-infection, whether an external or internal auto-infection. These could be the sources of infection. Please answer these two questions with me. Uh, the parasite infection can be transmitted through self-infection, true or false? True. Number two, improperly washed vegetables and fruits can transmit parasitic infections, true or false? True.